the final third car that came off for the business DLC is the Trism R. Looking very awesome. Costs five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars for online, which is a lot, half a million to buy for your online. This is a story mode since you get it for free for story mode. And I don't even have that much more five hundred thousand dollars online for my character. This really looks so awesome. Five hundred thousand dollars, very fast car you can as you can already see. Grody Trismore super car. Haven't upgraded yet, so I gotta check out what upgrades does it got. Wow. Best car that they added so far in all the DLCs that they had it. Armor, probably put it for twenty five thousand. Then you got the brakes. Same thing for all the other cars. Get your engine. That back of it looks awesome for light. You got the oval exhaust, chrome tip exhaust, or the race exhaust. The same exhaust that you get for your jester. The horns, all the horns are the same. The lights, the Eno lights, same thing you get for all the cars. Plate, I don't get it black, which looks more awesome. Yellow and black, like I said before. Got your roof, you can pay, have the roof painted, or be stock. Just have a painted roof. Looks more better than stock. You got your carbine wing, or your GT wing. I think for this car, the GT wing looks pretty awesome for it, so I'll just get that for $5,000. I'm not sure for the upgrades. I think the upgrades for online should might be free, or you might have to pay for the upgrades. Not very sure about that. Then you got to just lower your car down. Might as well get that since this is the best car I've seen so far for a DLC car. For free DLC, not bad. Turbo don't really need since the serration is already at the top. The wheels, pretty much the same thing. The wheels, pretty much the same thing on all of them. Put a time I'll put that on. Have some fun with the car. And the wheel color, put the wheel type first. All the same. Windows, Limbo, same thing like all the other cars. That's it. Nothing else you can put for the car. Maybe we should respray it, see how it is. I look like chrome. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know what color I should put it on. Looks pretty awesome. Look awesome how it is. All black. Looks all black and awesome. That dark blue looking good. It's secondary. Black and blue. God looks very sick. Alright. Pretty much all you can get for it. Not that many upgrades you can get for your car. Just make it fast. Makes your acceleration faster and just design it with the tail or the exhaust. Again, you get the car the same way the other. Go to the internet. Travel and transport. And you go to legendarymotorsport.net. And online, the top three cars should be up here. Should be like I think it should be Jester, Trismo R, and Alpha right here. All online. This is story mode, so we won't have the cars on here. All of them. I'll just check how fast it can go now. Well, it, top speed. You can't ever change top speed on the acceleration for it. Pretty fast. You know, I'm freaking gonna be freaking with the stop time. Pretty good, not bad. Do some turn flips already after just ram into the car. So it's a pretty fast, pretty awesome car. Best car they added so far, I'd say. Still one more vehicle to look at will be a new helicopter or airplane, whatever you want to call that. So this is Trismar. Awesome already.